Hi there, the name's Nico, and today I'll be covering the meta build for Sua. I made a guide for Sua on her release way back in April, and a lot has changed about her, and a lot more items have been added since I made that guide, so let's look at the build. So the build is Fang Mace, Hide Priest Robe, Tac Ops, Drop Near, Tachyon Brace, and White Crane Fan. The road is Hospital, Factory, Chapel, Pond, Temple. Build ID is displayed on screen, and is also written and linked in the description. This has been the meta build for a while for Sua. The only time it wasn't meta was when Tac Ops was changed to have Vigor on it for like 2, maybe 4 weeks, and then everyone went back to Tac Ops. This build, as with most Sua builds, is heavily focused on cooldown reduction, since Sua is one of the best characters in the game with her cooldowns reduced. You want to have the highest CDR possible, which is 35% without Queen of Cards or Prominence. At the beginning of the game, make sure you grab an alcohol in either Hospital or Factory. You will be using this to make Raisin Rum Bread for food. You can go to Chapel before Factory if Chapel is busy, but I personally prefer Factory over Chapel as it is easier to route. Use the extra boiling water and ice cube to make another purified water. Sua generally needs a lot of SP, but with a certain augment you are running, it won't be nearly as much of an issue. There are no meta builds for other characters that end in Temple that I'm aware of. You might run into Critical Strike characters that are looking for a Stallion battle, such as Rosie, but these builds might go the Beach or Alley. After you're done with your build, you should go contest Alpha for Mithril. Getting Mithril Helm is a huge upgrade since Mithril Helm is basically a direct upgrade for Attack Ops. This will open up more late game items for you without losing your high CDR. You can also contest for one Meteorite to make Evening Star, although this is not as huge of an upgrade since Fang Mace is a scaling extra skill damage weapon while Evening Star is percentage amp weapon. You should try to take Omega to make Boots of Hermes, especially if you have Mithril Helm. And finally, contest Wick Line. Wick Line is the strongest objective in the game and Sua does not have that bad of a Wick clear compared to most mages. Otherwise, just farm animals or fight players. The skill order for this build is passive, Q, E, W, and R ultimate when available. The build will have the skill order saved so you do not need to worry about memorizing it. For food, make raisin rum bread. You have extra water on your route and you go to both hospital and factory which both have alcohol so it shouldn't be hard to make. For drinks, make purified water. You have to make purified water on your build anyway because you are making high priest robe but you should boil both of your water. Sua does have SP problems, but your build and the augment you'll be running Spirit Calling negates this issue once you reach the mid game, but having a stack is always good. For augments, you'll be running Vampiric Bloodline as your main augment. This augment keeps getting buffed for some reason when it has been broken from the get-go in my opinion, and Sua uses this to her advantage. She heals a lot not only from her passive, but from Vampiric Bloodline, plus she utilizes the spell amp well. Your sub red tree augments are Spirit Calling and Quench. Spirit Calling is really helpful in Sua because she uses her spells so much that she would often have SP problems, but with this augment this is really no longer an issue. Quench is helpful for farming animals. Your last two sub augments are from the blue tree and are Embolden and Cavalcade. Embolden works on Sua's W shield and when you are stuck in a bad spot, you can increase your defense. Cavalcade is good for bonus damage reduction. For your transition items, your only weapon option is Evening Star. This is not a major upgrade from Fang Mace since Fang Mace is a scaling weapon, but an upgrade nevertheless. For your chest piece, you want to switch to Queen of Hearts. Hopefully by the time you have Queen of Hearts, you have switched off of other CDR items or else you will overcap on CDR. You can run Kabana, but this is not recommended unless you are running Prominence. For your headpiece, you want Mithril Helm. This is just a direct upgrade from Tac Ops as previously mentioned. For your arm piece, you want to run Auto Arms, Bracelet of Scotty, Mithril Shield, Prominence, or even Cube Watch. Whatever you run depends on your CDR. If you find prominence and do not have Queen of Hearts, you definitely want prominence. Otherwise, the damage arm pieces are better unless you have low CDR or attack speed, in which case you want to run Cube Watch. For your legs, you want to switch to Boots of Hermes, Glacial Shoes, Mithril Boots, or Tap Roots. You can even run Red Shoes, but your first V of Blood goes to Queen of Hearts, so the odds of getting Red Shoes are low. Boots of Hermes are good against matchups with a lot of CC or if you need more defense. Really, any of the transition shoes are good. For your accessory, White Crane Fan is honestly fine. This is your source of healing reduction, and with Vampiric Bloodline being meta, healing reduction is more important again, even with the food nerfs. There is a standard combo that Sua does. This combo is Q, E, Auto, D, Skill, Auto, R, Auto, Q, Auto, E, Auto. Now you can use your W instead of your R here. What form of W you will use highly depends on your matchup. If you're going against an auto attacker like Rio or Heart, you want to use the blind version of your W and then arm to get the memory of W so the blind lasts longer. The timing of this is extremely important because the blinds do not stack, so you have to wait a second for the first blind to finish. 
If you're going against an opponent with a lot of CC or you just need some more HP and defense to live a bit longer, you want to use your W as a self shield because you become CC immune. Unfortunately, in the gameplay, I did not show the self shield because I forgot that I changed the binding of self W when I was playing Leon last, so I do apologize for not showing that use case in the gameplay part of the video. So the combo for auto attackers is Q, E, auto, D skill, auto, W, blind, auto, R, auto, Q, auto, E, auto. For all other matchups, the combo is Q, E, auto, D skill, auto, R, auto, W, shield, auto, Q, auto, E, auto. And if they get too far, they hit the auto after the second Q, use E to get closer, and then use two autos. You can do some more advanced plays with your R, but this combo should give you a good framework. Now that I've explained the build, here's a game showing it in action. Hi there, the name's Nico, and today I'll be going over my Asua build, or the Asua meta build. So yeah, we just start looting hospital. Make sure you grab your alcohol here for food for later on, but if you do forget, which I do this time, I just go to factory. Like, don't turn around for it. This is honestly your ideal spawn just because you can walk into chapel easiest from here, but you can always take the teleporter. I'd say the worst spawn is still like the top area where my mouse is. I'm just cooking the food. I just need to clear my inventory to pick up items. Wait, just the thing I didn't know, if you hit like an object or as in like you hit an animal or a person, you do get the cooldown of your E reduced. I'm like 90% sure on that. So if you are traveling somewhere, it's best to hit like a chicken there or any animal as an example. Yeah, now that they've moved short rods to the chapel, this run is actually a lot faster. Like, you can get your weapon on line a lot quicker than you used to. So, yeah. Now we're going to head to pond. Yeah, sir. Just a lot of crafting here. The only thing you really need in temple is your chest piece, because you are chestless for like the first three minutes of the game, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I'm just using the speed pads there so I can get to temple a lot quicker just farming along the way just to kind of keep my map weapon mastery up <laughs> ideally you don't want to use your w when you're farming because your w is like your shield and like your yeah, I'm just gonna like your shield in your safe place, like you can blind them as well. Unfortunately, I would have mentioned it earlier. I forgot that I changed my self cast settings when I was playing Leon last, because I haven't played so in a little bit. And so I didn't have access to my shield this whole game. <laughs> but your shield is like extremely important. And there's a lot of moments in this game where I'm like, I this wouldn't have been as close if I actually had my shield properly set up. But this was actually like a really good game to showcase, which is why I didn't feel like I should re-record it. I managed to catch the shield here and I honestly have no idea how I did. I'm 
Yeah. You want to use your Q if they are running away to stun them. It is unfortunately pretty telegraphed, so they can just sidestep it. But you have to use... It's like your best tool. So... Yeah, she just unfortunately walked into my queue, and that was, that was the end. I'm just gonna farm temple as we look for feathers because we are missing a feather for our accessory so ideally you'd have your feather done at this point and you'd be going to alpha which is alpha's in uptown unfortunately the replay system does not show you the what's it called the satellite at the start of every day i don't know why but it's unfortunate so you guys don't know what's going on there but yeah, I got my feather and now we're good to go. I thought it'd be too late to go for Alpha, especially since I'm like on the opposite end of Temple and there's not really a teleporter here. Especially since hospital closed, so we just end up farming Pond. Ideally, also, in a more competitive setting, you want to use your Q to check bushes because it's on a pretty short cooldown and it's a really good bush check. I will, so I'll do that near the end of the game because I'm like more worried about losing at that point, but like around day two, you should be doing that. But yeah, I saw the Magnus here at low health, so I was like, okay, we got to go for him. Got a nice wall stun there, but... Unfortunately, the angle I was at did not work. Like I was at the angle for Magnus's wall stun, that's all. Yeah, I got lasered by Ava here, but we just walk away. We, yeah, if you're in a bad situation, always just E, R. You'll pretty much get out of any situation. And if you really need to and you think you're going to be CC'd, then use your shield instead. But again, I messed up my shield bindings, so I don't have access to it. Other than that one time with Nikki. Yeah, like I double checked the settings, so it was not on, so I don't know how I was able to do it. <laughs> First the Nikki, but whatever. At this point, I re I realized that trees are going to come online. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to go grab a bracelet to make Scotty. Because I have Drop Near and Scotty's often in, like a direct upgrade from Drop Near. And I also saw Alpha was still up and I was like, that's weird. Like Alpha is a much more important upgrade to me than Scotty. So I'm like, I'll grab the chain and I'm going to head over for Alpha. But then... Alpha immediately died, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess not. We won't go for that. We'll go for the tree instead. So you'll see I dropped the chain because I'm like, I don't need it anymore at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're going to grab the tree. Since forest tree was already taken, so we'll take redstone timer for it. We have one kill, so we do have more timer. You always want to put a camera here so you can know if anyone's coming. So I know the Magnus is here. So I'm gonna, like, I, I gotta get going, but if you don't know at this point, people will be like, oh, I have more timer than you. I'm gonna try to fight you. So you need to kill them or else they're gonna out timer you. So I'm at four seconds. I'm getting real anxious here, but we managed to kill them and then we just get out. But yeah, that was real. I think that was like one of the most intense moments for this match. Just I was, I was so worried of dying to timer there. I think we ended up living with two seconds left. So.
And yeah, now I have to worry about my timer because I don't... Even though I got the kill on him, I have to use some more timer to get out of the red zone after killing him, after looting his body. So I'm looking for a nail quickly because all the nail zones are closing so I can make Scotty. And now we, we're out of here. I don't want to wait because if I do, I know I, I can get timer death, so... We're just gonna craft Scotty now. And you can't see what's going on here, but we're gonna go to Omega at this point. That's where, as I said, you want Hermes, ideally. So we're gonna go there. And there are, I believe I remember seeing a Leon at Omega, and Leon's like a really good user for Omega items, so. So I see Leon here. Ideally, I want my shield up at this point, by the way. I didn't want the blind, but since I said it was broken, I had to. Yeah. The combos are a bit messy, too. Uh, you can combo a lot better, but it's... I, Sue is in a really good spot right now, so you don't have to... You can make mistakes and still get away with it just because you're playing Sue. Yeah, if you want to know, the reason why I was attacking the wolves even with the Rios there is because I had my Omni Vamp or Vampiric Blood lineup, and I have Quench, which gives you life steal against animals, so I wanted to heal up as much as I could. I checked the bush because I figured someone would be in the bush. I hit a stupid corner against Rio. Again, blind, which is really good against Rio. And that was super close. Again, you want to generally use your R, like WR, so you get the double blind off, but you have to time it right, or else it doesn't work. <laughs> Again, another super close fight. But yeah, at this point, even though we killed two more people, I'm like, it's not worth it to get Omega. I don't... Because Wick's coming, that's why. Wick is 10 times more important than any other objective on this game. Wick is, I think, incredibly overtuned at this point. So we're gonna be waiting for Wick. I'm gonna put a camera down because I wanna have vision. And there's Wick. We have a decent Wick clear, so we're gonna go as fast as we can. But I do start seeing people come. And Bernice comes and takes it. Eva's here and I have to run at this point. I don't know what's going on down here. I should have checked. But it looks like, yeah, she looks like she grabbed some of the items. But I think Bernice got the mo most of it. But unfortunately, we didn't get Wick there. We had chaos by Bernice, but it's okay. We already have four kills, which is really good. I believe we have the high one of the mastery. Well, we're tied with Ava. Ava pokes people a lot, so she's able to get pretty high weapon mastery. And yeah, we took some better food. And we're just gonna drop the extra high balls because we don't really need them. And we're carrying an extra mithril around. Ideally, if I was prepared, I would have or if thought about it more, I would have made Mithrahalm here. Because the stones for Mithrahalm are actually open. But I wasn't thinking about that. I ended up just making Holy Water instead. But I would definitely say make Mithrahalm here instead of Holy Water. If I was to play this game again. Now, you can't see it, but there's no one here in Forest, so this box furry. There's two people in school, I remember, and there's one person, Alley. So, we're just gonna check what this is. And this is Chinese Opera. I honestly thought about it a lot, but I was like, we, we really need to keep our CDR up here. So I end up not using it, just because we also need the attack speed. Like, you need at least one attack speed item with Sua. 
whether it's tac ops smith helm or cube watch but since we have scotty on we're gonna keep our tac ops Yeah, I do want to be a bit careful here because I want to try to wait out Bernice's wick buff. Is he? I, we got it pretty much on spawn, like we did most of the damage to it, so we know approximately when it was done. But okay, we, I can't do it here for some reason. But normally in game, I'd be pressing Z. That ch I was checking to see when wick was killed. I know wick timer was reduced down by a minute. But I was like, I don't know if Wick Buff will be done by the time Vinyl Zone occurs. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's not going to. Yeah, use Q for bush checks as I said. Again, I want to make sure I'm safe. So that's why I keep the bush. Yeah, we're just gonna wait here, hold tight. I don't know my situation around me, and I have one actual camera to recon. Yeah, I am actually gonna look for uh, binoculars, because there are binoculars in the alley. I do hear the footsteps, and I know it's Bernice, I'm like, Bernice has wick buff. I don't really want to fight Bernice. Yeah, this is an important play I do here. I see Daniel kills Ava. Daniel generally cannot kill anyone unless they unless he uses ultimate. And Daniel without ultimate is a really easy kill because he can't really do anything. So I'm like, okay, this is our time that we have to go in to fight Daniel. I also play this matchup extremely poorly. I'm sorry. I did get decent skills there, but I did miss the beginning a lot. But Sua is honestly like the top tier. Okay, I don't know why they're flashing like that. Is this a replay bug? But yeah, the end with the ult is really weak, so we can kill him easily. We got a nice wall stun there, and I think the wolf must have been him or something. I'm not sure what actually happened. How they how he got that extra little bit of damage because I didn't think that Q killed him, but honestly, if I was Bernice, I probably would have tried to fight here just because unless I don't know what Bernice's timer is like, so maybe he's like, I don't have enough timer, I don't want to go in, which is fair. But this is probably the best time he should have gone in because right now I'm actually prepping items off of the people that were killed here. So you see, I should switch the red shoes at this point. I saw another opera mask and I'm like, oh, do I put this on? And then I'm like, no, I really need the CDR still. I switched the cube watch because I was like, I am switching my shoes. And I'm not going to be at like max CDR, which I prefer to be at. But then I see that she has Healy's prepped and a meteorite on her. So I turn the tray that I had into a force core to then make Hermes. And I look at Bernice to see what he has. And I'm like, he has healing reductions, he has rhinos. So I want the extra defense. His defense is really good against crit users. I'm sorry, I lagged out there. But I play this matchup as probably as best as you could. I queued far away because I thought he was going to walk farther. But yeah, that was honestly extremely clean against the Bernice. And yeah, I'd say over that's good. But again, I don't have my Q sh or W shield to show off to you, so I do apologize for that because there's a lot better plays you can do if you have the shield. But yeah, this is Sua. And if you like this guide, please consider giving it a like. It lets me know if you like these types of videos. And if you like Eternal Return as much as I do, consider subscribing. If you're watching this when I posted this, I'll be live on Twitch playing some random characters if you have any questions. I hope to see you at the next video.